Music is universal, you know yeah. what I mean? I believe a good song is a good song, so yeah. that's it, you know what I mean? That's why Michael Jackson was a kid yeah. pop, you know what I mean? Because it's not like off the wall with some shit that's like, you know, easy to get into or some regular yeah, shit, yeah, exactly. but it is fucking beautiful, it's a piece of beautiful music. <coughs> the thing is, is when you start talking about controversial shit, when you start talking about polarizing issues about, like, you know, your race or your community. Yeah, that's or, when people want to That's when people, I don't you know, know if I should listen that's to it, man. Welcome to this week's edition of Bad Motherfuckers Inc. Um, we'll be talking to Marcus. What's good? Hey man. He's what's good. That's what's good. Let's, I mean, let's let's start with the basics, bro. How'd you become a rapper, man? I used to like rap over fucking my Nintendo, a uh, Super Nintendo like soundtracks, and Ooh, shit, like shit. Donkey Kong and shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's not relevant. What do you feel is the biggest mi misconception about Marcus about you? Um, I don't know. I'm a weed rapper. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That could be a misconception. I'm a, yeah, I'm a nice person. Like I'm not gonna fucking eat anybody on the street <laughs> unless you cross me wrong. <laughs> How did you link up with RD originally? So it was like me and Slav and Mickey. Yeah, we were all chilling, and um, Slav was like, "Hey, this rapper from the southeast wants to meet up, and like he's looking to network with other rappers." I was like, "Guys, oh, dope." Send me a song. It turned out to be Barrow. No shit. And I was like, wait, this guy is from Australia and doesn't suck. I was like, yeah, let's do <laughs> I was like, fuck yes. So we all linked up in the city and then it was like me, Soul Manny, uh, Slav, Mickey, Yobi was there as well and then like we were just best mates after all. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's that family energy heavy. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. And like that, that was like the turning point because before that it was like, yeah, I want to be a rapper, I want to do this. It was like, why is there no other like dope cats here yeah. that are doing it? And then once we found that, we met up, we were all on the same page. It was like, oh, like my life changed from that point. Which is so I was just, dude, I was in a rut. Like, it was like, fuck, I know what I want to do. How do I put it in motion? And then just being around other creatives like that just pushes you. And in within two years, we've got to this point, two, three years. And fucking crazy. It's like an undeniable kind of dynasty yeah. kind of vibe. It's yeah. I mean, it's fresh too. I think like a lot of young cats probably feel the same way about, I don't know, I guess having that um that separation um, from like, I guess the rest of the music the yeah. music industry yeah. when you want to do something that's a bit different. And that's what I love about RD is that when I met all of you guys, you guys were from all over Melbourne. Um, Hence the name. Exactly, man. And that was, that was another key thing. It was like every, I, I grew up on like Jay Wu Tang, like New York shit. Yeah. Like I, I saw these dudes as my idols. And every time I look at the scene here, it was just like all white boys, like just rapping about like like Aussie shit. Mm. And I was like, fuck that. It, like that's cool for them, whatever. Like that's cool. But that didn't resonate with me. And it was like I met these dudes and they had the same mindset as me. I thought I was like was the only one that thought like that. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright, um Do you have a vision for rap in Australia? Yeah, I wanna see like more of what well, like the the next gen that's coming up now, I wanna see that blossom because like it's it's at the point where I think it should have been from the start. So just like to see that like dudes like yourself, like fucking Sampa's killing it, yeah. shit like that, man. That's that's perfect. Like, dude, it's like a mini New York now. At the state, at the stage is getting too. Yeah. It's, it's a weird parallel, but like comparing it to like soccer, football, Australian players never get credit because it's just like oh they're playing Australia, they shit. Yeah. I feel like that's. That's what how they look at musicians here as well yeah. in hip hop because like we know like the pop artists can make a big for the yeah. shit. But that's the same as anywhere in the world, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it, I think you're right though, man. I think it's I think there's a shift. I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily about. Um, taking over so to speak but I think it's just adding that diversity that's always been here you know what I mean like you said like you grew up feeling that way I grew up feeling that way you know and it's about this, this whole country this whole city is based on diversity exactly. like my my fucking grandparents migrated from Malta like from bomb raids and shit came here started our family like and it's just, it, that's why I hate like people from like my generation talking about like fucking oh we shouldn't have refugees and shit 
Dude, your parents probably came here the same way as the. These We're all dudes. refugees, bro. That's what I mean, bro. Like we just happened to be the first refugees that came yeah. here with guns, man. Exactly. They're, we were the ones that we're trying to protect ourselves exactly. from. That's pretty much what it's come down to. Yeah. Hey, man, that's a whole new argument, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Straight on. Hey, man, it, it, you know what it is. Just the state these countries in, like the shit I keep seeing, it's just like it's primitive. Like I don't know, it's another story, but. I can't, I can't help but fucking go in on it because it's just, it annoys me bro, it annoys the fuck out of me. And like the worst part is seeing it from like, your extended family, like mm. you go to a family gathering where you see these people like once or twice a year and you have to listen to their like bigoted comments and it's just like, you bite your tongue because you don't want to make a scene, exactly. but it's like dude, I do not fucking agree with anything you're saying. Like, what, what are you teaching your kids if that's what you're saying? You're a grown ass man, do you exactly. know what I mean? It's, that needs to stop and like what better way than music to like put like people are gonna look at hip hop and say whatever, it's fucking full of misogyny and fucking drugs, swearing and shit, but where it's more than that. And if you have that mindset towards hip hop, you're obviously not listening no, to it correctly. You're you're listening to the media's mm. portrayal of hip hop, you know. And I mean, it de all that stuff definitely exists, but you can't say that shit doesn't exist yeah. in any other music yeah, form, man. Robin Thicke got a whole fucking, got shot down for that shit, man. Right. Basically sound like he's roofing women on the biggest song <laughs> of the fucking last, yeah. last 20th century, man. Straight up. How has your music changed since Pizza for Breakfast? I guess in the sense of just getting used to like, uh, using my voice to be better as an instrument, as you do naturally. Exactly. Like each each album or each track you make, you get more comfortable with it. I think uh, like I'm like, improved in like doing like harmonies and like singing and shit, which is good. Um, I would agree. Musically, yeah, yeah. Like musically, I want to get it to a point where I'm working with actual like instrumentalists, but I haven't made all the contacts yet. But that that will happen eventually. How soon can we expect new music? We've got a new single. Lock it down, man. Toast. Toasty. We Toast. toasting. We toasting to the future. Hey. That's what it's about. Hey. That's, what it's, that's what it's all about. And that ties right back into what we've been talking about, man. I'm, you know, I'm glad we've been talking about yeah. that. Um, what's the story behind Toast, man? So, it's just like... Well, I'll wait for you guys to hear the song, but it's just more like an announcement of raw diversity. Like, we're here, this is what we're about. Fuck with it, basically. Yeah. And yeah, like, uh, please fuck up. with it. Yeah, please fuck, fuck with, with it. it for yourself. It's, it's good vibes. It's got, it's got everything. It's got like, if you're into hip hop, it's got like the lyrics and shit, yeah. dope wordplay and stuff. If you like catchy shit, I wrote a nice fucking catchy horror chorus. <laughs> so yeah, it's got a bit of everything. I linked up with um, Basquiat, who did Christ Conscious for Joey Badass. Oh, shit. So that was tight. That was right, dope right. to work with him. Yeah, he sent me a few beats and that was the one I, I sort of rolled with the most. Sounded like an old school like 04 Jay Z beat. Yo, so did like you play I, that at the base that day? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, shit was yeah, fresh, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck with it. Fuck with it heavy. I fuck with it heavy, man. I didn't even know. We we're talking about the same. The same damage, bro. The same I damage. said toast, motherfucker, late. Yeah, your boy came in late. Or Jermaine when he made a great. Made my own lane, I ain't saving face. Amazing grace from the lame, since your day to pray. You lay away, I set a blaze with my day to day. Aimless face on the spray with they bullshit. But now he talking talk unless you did it like my crew did. I'm cruising, we all on our own path. Some reach a destination far, some of us won't last. Yeah. Thank God, man. Yo, it's Wipe the crust out your eye. <laughs> nah, you've been, um, you've been tuning to Thank God magazines, television. Um, I don't know if you'll see this in the magazine, but you might see this online. You'll definitely see this online. Yeah. We're just talking shit now. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it.